Good morning, guys. It's Jeff Chan from MMA Shredded. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how I stay shredded, or at least in decent shape, all year round. It's gonna be a day in the life of a pro fighter off season, a coach, and a lifelong martial artist. So guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you must have seen some of my food stories. They're really nicely done, homemade, all cooked by my fiance. And it's funny because I get all these messages saying, oh, what is that? What's the recipe? And then I'm like, Cynthia, what, what's the recipe? For me personally, I hate cooking with a passion. And this weekend, my partner's out of town, so I need to cook for myself. I got chicken on the menu tonight, so I'm gonna be marinating my chicken. I promise my meals are super simple, so if you don't like cooking too, um, these are really, really easy. So there's not one fighter I know out there that religiously measures out their ingredients and weighs their food, which includes me. Usually, because we have such a crazy tough training schedule where we burn so many calories, we get to reward ourselves with eating whatever we want. I love food, so when I'm in fight camp, I have healthier carbs and just eat smaller amounts. Off season, I'm going to eat what I enjoy in moderation. We always want to stick close to our fight weight because cutting too much weight can backfire on you. So for breakfast, I usually eat rice, but today I'm gonna go with some toast. Check out my toaster oven. It can actually do all sorts of different things. All I do is toast, start. I like to have an avocado with me every morning. Put it in a bowl and start mashing it up. This is gonna be put onto my toast. Assembly time. Spread the avocado. Finally, the eggs. Split it in half. Stick one on this. Here's a nice little small breakfast. I honestly don't eat too much for breakfast. It gets me really slow and heavy. When I'm in fight camp, I actually don't eat breakfast at all. I fast until 1 or 2 p.m. and then I'll have my lunch. Because I'm off season right now, don't plan on fighting anytime soon, I actually want to gain a little bit more muscle, so that's what I try to eat in the morning. I actually force myself to eat breakfast. After breakfast, I got about an hour or two before I go to the gym. Today is leg day. I hate leg day, but I have to get it over with. I have to do it at least once a week. When I do legs, I try to make sure I do my major combat exercises. So I'm gonna make sure I do at least my squats and deadlifts. And depending if I have time, I'm gonna go over to the side and do some kettlebell swings for some power. It's really important to get a good warm up and stretch when we're doing legs. So when it comes to legs, I make sure I really properly warm up. I do five warm sets before I get into the actual working set. I usually go for your typical five sets of five or three sets of eight reps. Today for squats, I did three sets of eight reps and for deadlifts, I did five sets of five. I lift weights about three times a week with chest and shoulders being the second day and back being the third day. And as for training martial arts, I aim for five to six days a week. So here we go, my favorite kind of training, sparring. Now I don't spar every day, usually just once or twice a week to try to maintain brain health. But every day I am training to better my skills. So that could mean smashing pads. And lately I've been focusing a lot on my Jiu Jitsu game. So a lot of technical drilling and rolling. <laughs> okay guys, just finished training. Because I had a small breakfast, I'm starving. On the menu for lunch today, we got salmon. As usual, my meals are very, very simple. All I'm gonna do is slap on some salt, spice flakes, and pepper. I'm gonna put it in that same poster oven that I use for breakfast. I know this is a lot. I'm not gonna actually eat all of this by myself today. I'm going to save it for next day. I'm gonna put the salmon in the same oven I used in the morning. Now, if you guys are looking for a multi-function kitchen appliance, this is your go-to. If you're like me, and I'm sure you are, and you're super lazy to cook, all you gotta do is put the food in, and put the timer on, and go do whatever, and I'll ring when it's done. Go to bake. Because the salmon is a little bit thinner, all I gotta do is turn it to 12 minutes, 350 degrees, start, easy. So because I know people are gonna ask, I added a link in the description box so you can get one yourself. While I wait for the salmon to bake in the oven, I'm gonna chop up and cook some vegetables. So here it is. You guys know I love my white rice, which is underneath. I got my veggies, salmon, and I'm just gonna slap on some mayo and sriracha. 
So, welcome to my little home dojo. I'm about to start my evening session. I'm just waiting for my cousin to arrive. As of recently, I've been training with my cousin Monday to Friday, and we're actually filming a very big new project for you guys. So, stay tuned for that. We just finished filming and training, and now it's dinner, my favorite part of the day. So, first I'm gonna peel the skin off the potato, then chop them into little pieces. Here we go, all done. Now all I gotta do is put salt and pepper. Back to my favorite oven. And this time we're gonna roast it. Bam. Here is the chicken that I marinated this morning. Put five in here. Now this is an air fryer and I was recommended by my friends to get one because I hate cooking and because I hate cooking and because I hate cooking and air fryers make life easy and convenient for people who hate cooking. This was actually rated number one on Amazon. So if you're interested in getting one yourself, check out the link in the description box. I'm gonna start cooking these. So all I gotta do is click the chicken button. I like to go to 350 and start. Two, one, I'm so hungry. Take a look at how crispy the chicken is. There's a lot of oil, but the oil has dripped to the bottom tray, and this is a healthier alternative. So let's plate the meal. I think I deserve this rice. Yeah. So guys, these are some of the meals that I have whenever I'm the one cooking. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and if you wanna see more of my cooking meals. Mm -hmm.